Okay, so this is my neighbor's bike. It's a giant Rome. It is a size small, and with the size small giant Rome, you only have one bottle cage bolt. You can see it right there. Uh, so that's all it is, just one. So what we're going to do is install this, which is the Line Components Holy Rail. So this is what you're going to get whenever you order this. Just uh, basically it's a rail here and you can see right through there where it connects to your pre-existing rail and it allows you to run two water bottles. You can actually see it over here on my giant Anthem I have it set up because the Anthem is only set up for one bottle. So we're going to install it here on the Roam and kind of show you how to do that. Okay, so you first off what you want to do is you want to take off this piece up here. Uh, and like I said before, that's going to be a 2.5 millimeter Allen key. And it's just the cap at the top that holds it on. So all that cap does right there is just go in right there and it tightens down. You can see where it tightens down. So then you can slide these out and you can see how they work. Uh, they just screw into these little pieces right there. And then these pieces slide down into the, the track here. But you want to take this out. It's, I found it a lot easier to take at least the top part out to be able to install it. Okay, so now that I have the stock bolts out right there, once again, take this little rubber piece and you're going to want to put it on the track here. And then you can see where these bolts are right here. Now, if I tried to put this on like this, it wouldn't work because obviously this is too far. So this is going to have to be spun around this way. So I'm going to have to remove, or not remove, but take this part off, which I'll use that, uh, that three millimeter. And then what's cool is actually they have a little gap right here where it can fit through. So you can loosen that. And then on this side, you just use your shorter side of your Allen key and loosen that. Now this can slide off. All right, put that down. And now you can see where I can actually take this and install it this way and have room. So let's go ahead and, like I said, this is just the regular stock bolts right here. Take our four millimeter Allen key and tighten it down. All right, so this piece here is gonna go right here. You can see this will slide down. Uh, this is the bolt that goes to the main hole. It should give me plenty of room to put the other cage here as well. So what we're going to start off doing is adding this bottom bolt first. Okay, so now that we have the bottom bolt in place, we're going to take this piece and basically slide these right into the rail here. Sometimes it's a little tricky to get them lined up. That will go down perfect. And then you want to check and just make sure that this one will fit and give you plenty of room. So, yep, should be good. It's going to go right there. So, I'm going to put my other bolt in now. <laughs> That's good and solid there. And then once again, you're going to take these pieces here, right here, and run them down this guide. Once again, they are a little bit of pain to get set up initially. There we go. That's it, right there. So, we have them in. Now we just have to tighten these bolts here which are three millimeter all right so they are nice and tight here uh, they also have a tool you can put right here as well uh, that's actually over here on my anthem. But I'm going to grab a couple bottles so you make sure that there's room here and here for those. 
Okay, so I got two full-size bottles here. Obviously, this one should fit fine. Yep, that's good there. And then this one, yeah, look at that. All right, got plenty of room right here and right here. So now we have two water bottles in a small size frame. Over here on my Anthem, you can see here, this is a tool that they include with it. All right, so here's the tool, the multi-tool they have. And it's basically just pull that that little door open there. And then you pull it right on out, and there it is. So mine's a little rusted up from from humidity and sweat and everything. But yeah, it's a pretty awesome setup. Now I've been using this for a while now. Um, I actually use it in a gravel race on my gravel bike. And I was really kind of concerned about these bottle cages because I was thinking like, oh, they don't seem very... Uh, like they'd hold a bottle very well, but I did a whole gravel race with them and had no issues, no bottles shot out or anything like that. So um, uh, I'll test it out a little bit more with the mountain bike, make sure that it works. But yeah, it's really a great idea. All right, so there it is, the Line Components Holy Rail. Hope you found this video beneficial. If you could, hit that subscribe button for me. Also hit the like button, and we'll see you in the next video.